da 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 Welcome to our Make Video Special, Sylvia's Super Awesome Mini Maker Show. Hey, did you know you could be a rocket scientist in just one day? Well, a hobby rocket scientist anyways. The field of hobby rocketry is huge, starting from $5 mini starters to multi-thousand dollar custom-made giants that can fly thousands and thousands of feet. Today we'll show you enough to get up in the air and crash in no time. From the hobby store, you will need a complete launch kit, a launch pad with a launch controller, plus a few size C6 rocket engines, and some electric igniters. What we will be building today is a rocket body. For that, we will need white school glue, thick legal size construction paper or anything about that size, a little strip of cardboard about two inches long, a long cylinder about three quarters of an inch in diameter, anything from a dowel to a boom handle a thin plastic drinking straw, a file folder or fancy cardstock, some stickers, markers, or other crafty things for decoration, a paper clip, optional, to help secure the rocket engine, and some not too sticky masking or painter's tape. First take your paper and wrap it nice and tight around your cylinder against a flat table while you glue. Use tape to secure as needed. Use the cardstock to cut out three to four fins and glue them evenly around the fuselage. You could add more if you want. Just go crazy! The entire assembly has to remain on the cylinder to dry completely overnight. Once it's dry, roll up some cardstock to make the nose cone and glue it on. Now draw a straight line down the fuselage and glue on two pieces of drinking straw for launch lugs. To make sure your engine doesn't fly out through your nose cone when it launches, glue in the cardboard right behind the engine. To ensure the engine doesn't go anywhere before the launch, you can either glue in the engine or use a paper clip sandwiched in the rocket and bent over to hold the engine. Once dried and decorated, your rocket is ready to launch. Find an open area away from trees and power lines and set up your launch pad. Insert your igniter with a safety plug, attach the controller, get back to a safe distance, and launch! The greatest thing about these real rockets is they're so cheap to make, you won't really mind the crash at the end. That's it. Be sure and experiment with different nose cones and fin shapes. Have fun, rocket scientists. And remember, get out there and make something. Da 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 do do da 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 da